It's great to be here today, and this is, of course, a great idea uh, to organize this with the Motion Picture Association. And by the way, they told me not to say Motion Picture Association of America, because now the Motion Picture Association is controlling the whole world, <laughs> including China and Russia. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the bottom line is also NATO is part of this and organizing this because we want to bring the big screen back. That's what this is all about. Now let me just tell you how I got here today. Rolando, who is of course the chairman of NATO, he and I, we have a good relationship. We call each other every so often. And then he called me one time, all frantic. This was after the January 6th uh, ep uh, episode and uh, disaster in Washington. And he called me and he said to me, this is really terrible, our whole democracy is at stake here and this is in danger. Arnold, you still believe in free speech, right? I said, yes, I believe in free speech. He says, good, you're gonna give one on May 19th in Century City. <laughs> so this is how I got involved in this. But now, in all seriousness, very funny, huh? I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you later. But anyway, uh, I love being here. And the reason why I love being here is because I wouldn't be here if it wouldn't be for the theaters, if it wouldn't be for the big screen. And I always said to people, you can call me anything you want. You can call me Schnitzel, Arnie, Schwartzy, whatever you want, but don't ever call me a self-made man. And the reason why I'm saying that is because, as I said, I wouldn't be here if it wouldn't be for the theaters. I'm not a self-made man. And I always say this when we have a rap party after the movie. I say, we get the spotlight as entertainers and as leading men or women or whatever. And there is 500 people that are working behind the scene. There would be no star if he wouldn't have a director, if he wouldn't have a producer, if he wouldn't have the writers, if he wouldn't have the financiers, if he wouldn't have the camera people, the focus puller, the cable pullers, the electricians, the set designers, the stunt coordinators, and the list goes on and on and on. Think about it. I mean, how would I? I'm not doing my makeup myself. I'm not doing the hair myself. I'm not doing any of this. They are doing it. So there's hundreds and hundreds of people on every movie set that are responsible to make a movie exist and to make it work. And then when you have the movie done and you're finished, you have the wrap party, then starts the post-production. Now the work begins again. People that are doing the editing, the sound, the music, special effects, visual effects, and all of that stuff. And then you have the movie finished. And now you test the movie, and now you have, let's say, a straight 10. Get a huge score, fantastic, give a successful movie. But then what do you do? Then you need the big screen. You need the big screen, because if you have a movie and you don't have the theaters, you have nothing. Yes, we have seen over this last year, the pandemic year, that people watched movies on a little iPhone and the iPad, and they have to put their glasses on to see what's going on there, and they're missing the special effects and visual effects and all the great stuff that you usually see on a big screen. But that's what they had to do. But now is the time to go and wind down this pandemic period. Now it's time to get back to the big screen. I love the big screen. And I love the theater owners and the theaters. I mean, think about it, that in America, we have 5,800, 5,800 theaters. We have over 40,000 screens. There's 153,000 people working in those theaters in the United States. Look how many jobs it creates. 153,000 
You see, when you go into a theater, someone has to go and unlock that theater, open it up. Someone has to turn on the lights. Someone has to go and project the movie. Someone has to sell the tickets. Someone has to sell you the drinks and the food that makes you really fat, so you have to go to the gym afterwards, which the gym business benefits too. <laughs> so you have all of this going on, and then after you leave the theater and you leave this great experience of the big screen, 